Um, first of all, it is great honor to have an opportunity to give a, give a talk in this nice conference. Thank for organizers and speakers. Today, I'm going to talk about the effect of starvation-driven diffusion in a prey predator model. I'm a graduate student at UCLA, and I'm working for NIMS as a military service right now. This is joint work with Professor Young Jung Kim. Here is our outline for this talk. First of all, I will talk about the prey predator model with starvation-driven diffusion, including the basic fact in the classical prey predator model. Then I will analyze the semi-trivial solution for our model. Finally, we will conclude that the effect conclude about the effect of starvation-driven diffusion on coexistence area of prey predator model. Let's start with classical Lota Volterra prey predator model. We will consider the basic classical prey predator model in steady state. Here, oh sorry. Here, U is the population density of prey and V is the population density of predator. And A, B, C, D is are the positive constant. In the first equation, U can be regarded as the amount of food for prey, and in the second equation, B plus D U can be uh, can be called as a amount of food for predator. In this model. There are several well-known results about coexistence area for classical play, prey predator model. The coexistence area is determined by two curves, S1 and S2. The lower side of S2 and the upper side of S1 is coexistence area for prey predator model. In this plane, the x-axis is A, con the positive constant in the last slide, and B is also positive constant. Here, lambda 1 and mu lambda, mu lambda 1 is the least eigenvalue of the Laplace operator in the, uh, with Dirichlet boundary condition. We will specify it later. So, if the diffusivity on pre predator is going up, then the coexistence area is also going up. You could see that the curve S1 is going up and then the S2 is also going up. So we could, uh, we could, it is hard to analyze how the coexistence area is changed or how the existence area for prey or predator is changed for the diversity of predator. So there are another stability analysis for classical prey predator model. First of all, there are trivial solution in lower left side, T0. In, in this area, the trivial solution 0, 0, is stable. On the other hand, the coexistence area, what I mentioned before, the, the solution for coexistence here, U star and V star is positive solution, are both stable in this area. On the other hand, there are another semi-trivial solution. Here, the predator vanishes and U star is positive. We can call this area as a prey-only area. And on the other hand, we can call this area T3 and T2 prime predator only area. This is possible since each solution is only stable solution in each area. Now, we are going to talk about prey predator model with starvation driven diffusion. So the departing probability is uh, taken as an increasing function and it has a uh, gamma prime is uh, greater than equals to zero, and gamma zero is mu. So B plus du is the amount of food for predator. We can, we can put the starvation measure as V, as V over B plus du. Then our prey predator system becomes like follows. We will choose the required boundary condition here. So our goal is 
find the effect of starvation-driven diffusion in prey predator model, such as change of coexistence area or existence area. Also, we hope to see if the effect of starvation-driven diffusion strategy give an advantage of advantage on predator or prey. So let's analyze about the semi-trivial solution. So here is well-known lemma about the uniqueness and existence about this semi-linear equation. So suppose that phi is strictly decreasing function and phi w is ne negative for large w. The solution is solution uniquely exists if and only if phi zero is greater than lambda one zero. Here, lambda one zero is the least eigenvalue of eigenvalue problem, like follows. Here, Q is zero. So, based on the lemma before, we can show that our model, prey predator model with starvation driven diffusion also has a similar semi-trivial solution zero v star here and has the exactly same uh, necessary and suffici sufficient condition. The proof is as follows. We can took the change of variable and then based on the fact that gamma is increasing function, we could show that phi w is negative. Then the phi satisfies all the condition in the above lemma, and we can say that this condition is necessary and sufficient co condition for existence and uniqueness. So we will use also well-known comparison principle for uh, for this model with the same assumption on phi. Under this, um, uh, from, uh, by this comparison principle, uh, for example, if the equation is like this, we will denote the solution of this positive solution, zeta a. This zeta a is stri strictly increasing function on a. So based on the comparison principle, we can show that our semi-trivial solution is also strictly increasing function on B. So let us denote the semi-trivial solution for classical model phi C theta, which is equal to mu theta B over mu. So in the last slide, we just denote uh, if the diffusivity is one, then we, we will denote theta A is positive solution. Then the, the solution is mu beta B over mu. We first want to make the upper bound of this semi-trivial solution. If gamma is bounded, then we can show that our semi-trivial solution for starvation-driven diffusion is bounded by the sum norm of gamma and times zeta b over mu. This is the first bound we can get. In order to have a more precise bound for semi-trivial solution, we give an one additional assumption on gamma, which is gamma double prime s is less than two gamma prime over s. This assumption implies gamma is sublinear, like con concave, and has the upper bound. For example, gamma s can be this function. <coughs> Since this integral is finite, we, uh, the gamma has the upper bound. Under this assumption, we can show that the classical solution Vc is always greater than or equal to <coughs> Vs, the solution of this equation. This result follows from the comparison principle. Like before, we just took the change of variable 
and then and then we can directly compute the double C here it is enough to show that the VC is super solution of the other equation the other equation this one then here you could you could see that gamma is always positive and gamma prime is also positive and this term is negative since the equation is semi-linear and then we assume that this term is negative so we could say that the VC is sub-solution of the equation and we can say that by comparison principle VC is greater than or equal to VS Okay, so let us talk about the effect of starvation driven diffusion on coexistence area of prey predator model. So we first talk about the existence area. The, in here, the cur two curve S2 and S2, S1 and S2 are monotone increasing function as we've seen before and monotone decreasing function on B and we could show that they only intersect at the same point moreover the lower part is same as the classical uh, the curve in the classical solution thus we could say that the existence reason for predator is preserved So about the coexistence area, there are results about the general prey predator model if the mu u is increasing function on both u and v, and if mu v is decreasing function on u and increasing function on v, then coherent u showed that the coexistence area is like this. From this fact that we could show that if A comma B is upper coexistence area here of classical model, then A comma B is the upper coexistence area for our model. As we showed that S2 is increasing function on B, then we could say that S2 rotate counterclockwise. Um, we should mention that um, by using stability analysis, we could say that this area is this area, the upper side of S2 and the uh, left, upper le left side is predator only area. So we could say that coexistence area is extended and predator only area is getting smaller. So the proof is based on the fact that the least eigenvalue is strictly increasing function on Q and also use the comparison principle in the last, uh, in the previous chapter. So, uh, by comparison principle, a comparison of semi-trivial solution, we could say that if AB is in T2 with divisivity 1 and mu, which is the uh, which is region for classical model, is contains in T2 1 gamma SV. The divisivity is gamma SV. On the other hand, if we take starvation driven diffusion strategy in prey, then this area rot also rotate counterclockwise. Then interesting fact is the prey only area is become larger. So as a concluding remarks, starvation driven diffusion preserves both existence area for predator and pre predator and prey while in in the first session 
I said that different effectivity in classical model changes the, the area. Also, if the smarter migration strategy here, uh, starvation driven diffusion, is applied to prey, then prey has a better chance to prosper. However, if it applies to predator species, both species are beneficial. The coexistence area becomes larger, but predator only area becomes smaller. Therefore, at the same A, B, comparing the exact value of solution, like zero VC and another solution in starvation model, see how the relation changes with different gamma can be on more issues. There is references, and thank you for attention.